Hey guys, about a year ago, I came up with an idea for an antenna called the Coastal 20. My thought pattern on this antenna is that it would be an antenna that wouldn't require a ground plane. Something that I could uh, put up and when the beach was crowded, people were all over the beach. I couldn't put down radials or get down by the water or whatever. I'd still be next to salt water and really uh, take advantage of of that you know that location for uh, for operating portable. Well, I got up this morning at the crack of dawn, or basically way before dawn, and came down here to the beach while it was still dark, and put up this uh, coastal twenty. And I've done a few things different and uh, kind of tweaked it a little bit. Well, I got I got some ideas and some things. I'm kind of working. This thing is to me still a little bit of a work in progress to be uh, the antenna I want it to be. So I got up and put it together. Well, I'll tell you everything I did kind of go over some great contacts that I made. Stick around. So if you're familiar with this antenna and you've kind of been following along with me as I've built it, you know, I started out, the, the idea of this thing would be a vertical antenna that I could take down to the beach on crowded days because a lot of times in the in the summer here in the northern hemisphere, beaches are packed, and I can't get down right by the water and put out vertical, uh, put out radials because of the people around me or what have you. So I wanted something where I could still kind of take advantage of this great DX location, but could have something in the air that wouldn't require uh, radials. And uh, I kind of was looking at something kind of like a shortened, small, off-center fed uh, vertical dipole, per se. Um, my thoughts on this, what I did was the upper element was a 17.5 feet or 5.33 meters. And the lower uh, element was three feet or roughly a meter. And the, the, both of those lengths I came up with because they were non-resident lengths, kind of similar to what you do with a, uh, with, with a uh, random wire antenna and, and that whole idea. So uh, I put this thing together. I originally built this, the first prototype, I should say, I built it in Poland and put it up and uh, away, well away from waters. And I used, uh, then I used a nine to one unun. And the nine to one unun gave the uh, SWR pretty good, uh, it got it down low enough where I could, um, I could tune it. Now, this antenna absolutely needs a tuner. And uh, my whole deal with this is to use my um, uh, Zygu G90, or I could use any antenna, any uh, radio that would have a, either an ATU or an external antenna tuner. And, uh, and, and it worked well on all bands from 20 to 10 meters. Um, kind of tweaked it a little bit, took it to the beach, and the next time out used a uh, four, to, 4 to 1 un un and found that I had better performance, a closer match on the bands from um, from 20 to 10, and, uh, and and it worked well. Well, today I'm doing something a little different. I figure if this thing is really like an, an off-center fed vertical dipole, shortened per se, it really should have a ballon. So today what I'm doing, I built this thing with a four to one ballon and uh, and put it up in the air. So I, I've, I've got it in the air and I got it up. It was still dark when I was building this. So a little bit of a, a of a challenge, but I got it up in the air on a DX Commander 10 meter pole and um, with uh, what I do is I use a a piece of PVC, PVC pipe uh, driven in kind of in the dune here. And uh, I, I put it all together and I sit right here in my Jeep with my little 20 watt uh, Zygu G90 and uh, started making contacts. Victory 
Peter Ricciari, Tokyo Ontario Radio, uh, located in you know, Sofian Park, Oman United, Mike American Norway. I'm uh, living in the village uh, near Port Town, Book River, in Ukraine. He wrote for Dr. Brown, United Yankee uh, Toys. Uh, kilowatt for Oscar Germany, Oscar United Yankee to Baker Mike. Kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. Okay, it's a kilo. It's a kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. Is that correct? QSL, QSL. You're five seven, five seven into Virginia. I'm portable on the beach here with just twenty watts. Okay, kilo for Oscar Golf, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, eight kilo, way kilo. You are not very strong. You are five and two. You are fifty two with a QSP. Uh, my name is Tuomo Tango, uniform Oscar Mexico Oscar, and I'm here in Central Finlandia. Over. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with the performance. I really need to do a little bit of tweaking, maybe. I don't know, but uh, hey. <laughs> That's some pretty amazing contacts with it, uh, all in itself here. Just sitting in the Jeep and having some fun here down by the, by, by the water. Um, I really think, uh, one of the things I, I probably need to do is I, I recently, I just got a, uh, Nano VNA. I'm going to run some, uh, run some, uh, tests on this thing and see how it, how it does. Um, another thing, uh, earlier I, I got on 40 meters with this and it was, it, the sun was up and I was hearing VK. Um, so obviously conditions are really good today, but they were fading away. And I think I would like to try this after dark when 40 meters is open between here and say, um, the Pacific and down that way. Um, it might work. I, I don't know. I was hearing well with it. It'd be a really compromised shortened antenna, but it might work on 40. I think the band that really surprised me and, uh, and really the SWR on this thing wasn't the greatest on this band, but, uh, it was, it was tunable. Uh, it was, was the 15 meter band. Wow. It was really cool. I've got some ideas for some antennas because, you know, 10 isn't always open. It really wasn't open today. Um, 20 is the band, the money band for me, but, um, I think sometimes I neglect and, and forget about the 15 meter band for DX. And I think it, you could build some antennas that aren't as big. I mean, they're not as small as a 10 meter antenna, but aren't as big as what you would require for 40 and 20 meters. You build some decent antennas on 15, so I kind of want to go down that road and, and try that a little bit. But um, anyway, had a good time here at o Ocean View here and uh, and on the basically looking out at the Chesapeake Bay. It was a good morning and a good day and uh, a, another good run with the uh, Coastal 20 antenna. Um, I if you enjoy this type of stuff, please uh, like and subscribe. I like to get out portable and uh, and operate and have fun building antennas and uh, just messing around with HF voice. SSB Ham Radio. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.